In this screencast, we'll continue uh, discussing the mathematical preliminaries uh, necessary and useful for the study of the theory of computation. We'll start with sets and uh, uh, tuples. So let's write a set of uh, n elements. So it'll be a finite set of some elements, uh, a1, a2, uh, a3, uh, through uh, a n. A finite, uh, a finite set. So this is a set of elements. So the order of the elements when we specify um, a set does not matter. So any order, we can write those elements in any order. The set is an orderless uh, construct um, uh, in, so in which uh, the specific order in which we sp uh, write those elements out does not really matter. So uh, for example, the set of A, B, and C3 elements is the same as the set A, C, B, and it's the same as the set of um, uh, B, uh, a, uh, C. A tuple is a sequence of elements. It's an ordered sequence of elements, um, a finite, um, a typically finite sequence of elements. So, and it's written, the elements of a tuple are written inside of uh, matching parentheses. So, for example, A1, A2, A3, um, uh, AN. And uh, um, the order of elements uh, in a tuple uh, does matter. So they can think uh, they can be thought of as uh, as arrays um, in any programming language. So, for example, uh, A B C, uh, the sequence uh, or the tuple three tuple A B C is not equal to the tuple B C uh, A, and it's not equal to uh, the tuple uh, C A B. So let's um, uh, talk about uh, Cartesian products because uh, um, they have uh, uh, a lot uh, in common with uh, 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 tuples. Well, not not so much in common, but as um, connected uh, connected with uh, uh, the uh, tuples. So. Uh, Let's suppose that we have n sets, s1, s2, and uh, 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 all the way to sn. doesn't really um, matter with, uh, whether each set is finite or not. So the Cartesian, the Cartesian product of uh, 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 these n sets uh, is written as s1 times s2 times uh, all the way to sn is a set of n tuples. So um, a1, uh, a2, a n, where the first element uh, comes from the first set, the second element comes from the second set, and the third uh, element from the third set, uh, and uh, the last element, a n, the nth element, comes from the uh, set number n. So here's a simple example. Let's say that we have uh, two sets, um, S1 and uh, S2. Uh, uh, They're finite. And their Cartesian product uh, will have two tuples. Right? Two, two tuples, right? uh, tuples of two elements. Uh, the first tuple is 0a, and the second tuple is 1a. Uh, the next uh, uh, topic that we'll uh, uh, tackle um, is predicates and uh, characteristic functions. A predicate is a uh, total function, a total function meaning the function defined on each uh, element of its domain. So and it's a Boolean valued function meaning that it returns uh, 1 or 0, right? Its uh, um, uh, range is uh, uh, 
of a binary set, you know, that a set of two elements, either uh, 1 or 0, true or false, such that for every element of S, um, on some set S, its domain, uh, P, uh, every element A of S, P of A is 1 or P of A is 0. So let's, uh, here's an example, right, P uh, of X is 1, let's say if X modulo 2 is equal to 0 or the number uh, X is even or 0 otherwise, then uh, P of X is a predicate on a um, uh, uh, set of natural numbers. I said because for every natural number P1 returns either 1 or, or 0. Uh, let's suppose that we have a set R and we define uh, P sub R of X uh, to be 1 if uh, X for any uh, uh, number X, um, uh, uh, the predicate returns 1 if X is an R or 0 otherwise. Then uh, P of R of X uh, uh, okay, so let's say R is a set, then R can be described as uh, X uh, such that P uh, sub R of X is 1, and P of R is called a characteristic function, uh, or a characteristic function of R, because there might be multiple characteristic functions. So let's grab some white space, and uh, we'll uh, uh, finish this discussion with uh, uh, some quantifiers, and continue it in uh, the next screencast. Uh, the discussion of uh, quantifiers. So this uh, symbol, inverted A, in mathematical logic and in mathematics, uh, stands for uh, um, uh, there is, right, or uh, there exists. So in this uh, inverted A, uh, or uh, A uh, top-down, uh, stands for for every and uh, for all.